this might be the best state ever. This is Nikki Terry Style. Normally on this channel, we are devoted to thrift stores. Thrift with me is thrift hauls and styling our thrift store finds. But today we're going to an estate sale and this estate sale was incredible. If you follow me on Instagram, as you should by the way, you probably saw my stories about this incredible estate sale with designer, high-end fashion, really great prices, and just an amazing collection. It's kind of funny because now I'm like seeing so many designer pieces that if I see something from like TJ Maxx, I'm like, oh. <laughs> Normally I would not be that way. Like, it's this is just a mind boggling scenario. <laughs> Thankfully, I was able to film the experience for you. So we're gonna go through the estate together, which again was just packed wall to wall with hundreds of high-end designer items. And then as usual, I'll bring you back here for a try-on haul. Wow, this might be the coolest estate ever. So time for another estate sale. I'm here, they haven't opened yet, and there's already a line of people. Um, it's advertised as having a lot of high-end designer clothing, so that's what I'm here for. I'm excited to see what they've got. And yeah, we should be able to go in in like 10 minutes or so. Well, I actually ended up having to wait in line because they limited the number of people in the sale at one time, which was fantastic. You can see this first room I came into just packed wall to wall and their pricing, everything was $20 or less. As I walked into this first room, the staff member turned to me and said, pace yourself, there's more. And that's when I knew it was gonna be so, so good. I only captured a couple of things from this first room. I think I was just overwhelmed with all the designer and new with tags items. Just so many great pieces right off the bat. They have just only looked through like one room and there's so much stuff. This is like absolutely insane. A ton of stuff is like new with tags. And uh, now we're getting ready to look at the purses. And then there's like a whole other floor. Wow. You'll be able to tell as we go through here, but they had set up the kitchen to house all of the bags and purses. And it was just floor to ceiling, hundreds of bags. I didn't spot a lot of high-end designer items here. And I sort of assumed that the people who had been there before me had grabbed up all of the high-end designer bags right away but still a lot of really good quality, well-made pieces, tons of really fun and funky items too. And a lot of these were still new with tags that had never been used. I can't look over here without stepping on things. This is cute. Oh wow. Wow, this is all beaded. That's probably 20 bucks. Originally 240. That's cute. That's going in my pile. There's my pile. This stuff on this chair here. <laughs> okay, check out this bag. Look at the feet on it. That is so extra. Wow. Look, there's still a candy in it. <laughs> this got used. Right now I'm considering these bags. I love this. Looks like Bottega Veneta style. It's not, but you know. And it has a shoulder strap. The beaded one. This little gold. This clear like 90s one and a tote. Oh, and that one.
I made it upstairs, there's this room and like two other bigger rooms filled with clothing. Look at these red velvet pants. These are cute. They might fit me. They're not like designer or anything, which <laughs> it's kind of funny because now I'm like seeing so many designer pieces that if I see something from like TJ Maxx, I'm like, oh. Normally I would not be that way. Like, it's this is just a mind-boggling scenario. <laughs> Seeing some stripes. It's my jam. It's cute. Yeah, a lot of basics right here. Nice and tag still on. It's a hat. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm definitely reaching a point of being overwhelmed. Like this might be the best estate ever. This is cool. You know I love black and brown. That might fit me. set. Tag still on it. That's a set too. Suit. Wow. This is the pile currently. I feel like I want to pare this down, but um, yeah, I'm just overwhelmed. I think I just have a couple rooms left, but I have to pare down my pile before I can move on. Like, I can no longer carry it around. <laughs> And I think that would be wise because I've like, you know, definitely just grabbed stuff along the way. And now it's like, wow, there's plenty, plenty of stuff. So uh, it's cool to be picky at this point. <laughs> it serves me well. So here's another room. It's been ransacked apparently. <laughs> wow. Crazy. And then there's one more big room. Ooh, this is like a quilted jacket. Cute. Oh my. Wow. Here's where the pile is at. <laughs> oh, and my bags. So I did put it down, but um, yeah, I still have two rooms to go through and I just found like three things that went on top of the pile there. So... I made it to the final room and it's the biggest and most packed of all. At this point, hopefully you can tell that I am not overstating the size and quality of this collection. 
there were so many incredible pieces that it's hard to re-watch the footage as I'm editing and not feel like I missed out on some great items. But with the upcoming haul, you'll see I took quite a bit home. And I think my only regret might be passing up this Carl Lagerfeld because I was so desensitized to how incredible this piece is. Pile update. Look at all that. Oh my God. It's out of control. Sorry. It's okay, I'm taking a video. <laughs> I just wanted to, I'm sorry, I'm so awkward. <laughs> this whole closet behind me to look at and I think that's it but my pile is huge wow wow like rainbowy gingham. That's actually two shirts on this one hanger. This little fruit vest. It's silk. It's cute. jackpot in the back of the closet. Christian Dior loungewear. It says small but I think it'll fit me. That's going in the pile. This collection blew my mind. Everything in there was stuff that I would love to have in my closet and it was just a lot of fun to shop. A quick note because we are dealing with an estate sale. I don't know the context of this individual and why these items are for sale or whether this person had passed, but all of these items did belong to one person and they had selected this collection, curated it over a number of years. And so we just wanna be really respectful toward that person and their taste, whether or not it matches our own. But as we consider these items, I just wanna have a moment of gratitude for the work that was put into this and the individual behind it and thank them for passing along these pieces. So thanks for doing that with me. Let's get into the haul. So I'm gonna start with the bags. I got two bags. This first one is this sort of like kiss lock baguette. It does come with a shoulder strap though. So I love that I could wear it cross bodied. It reminds me of the Balenciaga bags kind of, but it's definitely a little bit different style. Still really good size, just fell in love with this style. And I think I'll get a lot of use out of this. It's a great size as well. Did I say that? The second bag is this trendy little 90s clear bag. This smiley face daisy print just takes me back. I was like in love with this print back in the 90s. It is new with tags. And there's an attachable shoulder strap in there too. One of the first things I snagged was this silk butterfly top. I just, I think this is so darling. It is from Maggie London. This is a brand I can find in thrift stores. However, this one is really special because it is silk and the cute little gold butterfly button detail just slayed me. And one of the last things I found was this Ralph Lauren polo shirt. It is lavender with lime green, which I feel like we're all kind of just loving these colors lately. So very spring, will be really fun to style and it's new with tags. Here's more pastel Ralph Lauren. I love this checked print linen top.
Let's get into some designer pieces. Here's my first Escada. This is a sweater tunic top. Love this like jewel detail on the front. A similar Escada top. This one is a cardigan though, and look at the cute buttons on it. And it has pockets. In a separate room, I found an Escada knit skirt that apparently matches either one of those tops. I don't know which one. They sold it to me as a set with one of the pieces anyway. This one I won't be able to wear, it's too small. I searched everywhere last year for a navy blue cardigan. I ended up finding one very recently and then I found this Escada one at the estate sale. And it is new with tags. I absolutely love the fit of this one. A little bit cropped and a nice like silhouette to it. And it has slim shoulder pads in it, which I think I'll end up keeping in the way that it is. My navy blue turtleneck just got a big upgrade. <laughs> On second thought, I don't know about the shoulder pads. I think maybe they gotta go. But look, they're actually Velcroed in, so. You can have it all. <laughs> Lordy. So awkward, like putting a turtleneck on it. Okay, this is without the shoulder pads. I do like it better. I brought home this funky Italian designer sweater. The star and moon design is all made up of tiny white beads. I'm definitely a sucker for this print. I love this top. I brought home two beautiful kimono style robes. The first one is silk and has this hand painted grapevine print all over it. Because of the print on here, I had a, an ongoing joke with another woman at the sale that I was gonna wear this around my house and drink red wine all day. <laughs> this second robe looks a lot more traditional style to me. I'm curious uh, how and if I'll be able to wear this without feeling like I'm wrongfully appropriating the culture, but uh, it is beautiful and I love the texture in it as well. There is no tag in it, which also makes me think it might be custom made and it might be an actual cultural piece. I brought home this amazing daisy print blouse. It is 100% silk and new with tags. This is another Escada, this silk blouse. If you can't tell, this is like actually a mint green color. It's gorgeous. And she's new with tags as well. This beautiful little sweater is another Escada, also new with tags. The actual shirt tag is like coming unstitched there. There's embroidery and these tiny little beads on this tree design. The original price on this was $1,085. I own a $1,000 sweater now. And this might be from the 80s, like that could have been a thousand eighties dollars Like that's like, wow. I grabbed this little vintage polo sweater. It is a silk blend. Notice the tag says exactly how to clean it with perchloroethylene. I think that's funny. And it also says it was made in the British Crown Colony of Hong Kong. There's history in vintage clothing. You know how I feel about stripy tees and this one is actually a silk knit. It's in beautiful condition. I fell in love with this incredible Italian designer top as soon as I saw it. It is 100% cotton. It has these incredible wood buttons. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit me like quite as well as I had hoped, but I'm hoping I can make it work. I brought home this sweater knit skirt set from a Neiman Marcus store brand. It's definitely all about these cute little star and moon buttons. This is what I like to call lovingly, like art teacher chic. Like, I just love it. It looks like something your cool art teacher would have worn. I'm gonna show you now my favorite, favorite find of the day. This Escada blazer top. 
this one has been well worn and well loved. It's probably vintage age. The print and the pastel color has just totally grabbed me. Definitely reminds me of like a 60s kind of psychedelic, kind of peace dove vibe print. It's just, ugh. Oh. And the little like lemon yellow buttons. Like the other blazer top, this one doesn't fit me as well as I'd hoped, but I've got to figure out how to make it work because I'm just absolutely in love with this. I decided to bring home this Liz Claiborne orange polka dot blazer. It's just so wild. This is definitely vintage because of the tags on it. Still new with tags. Oh, originally $158, wow. And these big oversized white buttons. I'm not totally sure how I'm gonna be able to style this, but how fun for the spring and the summer. And I thought it was so unique that if I can't style it myself for my own personal style, that it's definitely something would be fun to resell on Depop and Poshmark. Another incredible find of the day, this Christian Dior loungewear quilted jacket. It has CD embroidered on the front there and little gold buttons. This also was made for Neiman Marcus. I don't know what else to say. This is just such a cool piece. I can't wait to style it. Yeah, Charlize, I'm coming for your job, girl. When I got inside, the managers of the estate sale gave me a couple directions as far as where to go, and they said, pace yourself. And I began really quickly to see why, but the first thing I found that got me really excited about what was to come was this Ralph Lauren cashmere knit sweater. It's so incredibly soft and cozy. I hope it never warms up. I want to wear this all the time. I decided to bring home this funky, like, vintage sweatshirt. It's from Charter Club, which I think is just a Macy's brand, but it is still new with tags. So the inside has that, like, perfect, super soft lining of a brand new sweatshirt. Oh. And it has a full zipper and pockets. I just thought this one was just so cool and like a statement piece, like very streetwear vibes. It's gonna be fun to style as well. This is kind of an outlier and like maybe not my typical style, but I kind of fell for this Snoopy denim shirt. We've got a giant Snoopy and Woodstock patch on the back that's so cute. This one looks like it's still new without the tags. I brought home this really unique sweatshirt. We've got embroidery of a little sheep and a sun and some little daisies and looks like the Swiss Alps or something. The brand is Acorn Leisure and it's made in Great Britain and still new with tags as well. That really soft inside sweatshirt feeling. The only thing is that the pattern sits a little bit lower than a typical sweatshirt. So I think it looks a little bit odd, but I still really like it. I went ahead and grabbed a couple t-shirts. I was kind of surprised to see some cool t-shirts in the mix. This one just says San Antonio Wildflowers, but I loved the colors, kind of a neutral palette with um, some cute lettering. And the other tee I brought home was this Frank Lloyd Wright portrait. The tag tells me it's pretty old. It says the prairie style and then Frank Lloyd Wright. And it's in good vintage condition, but I do need to clean it a little bit better. And a good graphic tee is hard to find. I have a few things to show you that I'm not going to try on, and you'll see why. This is a three-piece set from Elese, and I've seen that brand before, but I've never heard it, so sorry if I pronounce it wrong. So it's a t-shirt, a tank top, and a little skirt. It's so darling, love the color palette here. And I brought it home even though it does have a lot of discoloration stains on it right across the t-shirt and here on the tank top. I've treated this once, it didn't come out in the wash, so I'm gonna keep trying and see if I can get it out. I would love to wear the t-shirt. The skirt doesn't fit me anyway, so they basically threw it into my pile for free because of the damage, and so I thought it'd be worth giving it a try. We'll see if I can get this out. It is the age of loungewear, so I had to grab these Ralph Lauren sweatpants. I love how the logo is across the waistband here. 
and it has a cuffed bottom, like a jogger style. And these are new with tags. These are men's large, so I thought they might fit me, but the hips are definitely more of a men's style. So my hips don't fit in here. My hips don't lie. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Cut. So those will go on Depop or Poshmark. I got this beaded rainbow polka dot mini dress. All the polka dots are actually little bead clusters. It is from Moschino Cheap and Chic, which I don't know if that's like an affordable line from Moschino. And then it's got a hidden zipper at the back. And I wish she fit me. It's so cute. This will be another great Depop and Poshmark item though. It's in perfect condition. And the last item is this Fendi knit skirt. This has a lot of stretch to it, so I was hopeful it would work on me, but it won't. So again, I'll have to put it on Poshmark and Depop. And yeah, I bought Fendi. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming along for this special estate sale. If possible, and if you're interested, I might like to film a video where I actually style all of these pieces since I kind of just did a quick try on. So do let me know in the comments if you're interested in that, if you're interested in estate sale videos at all. I'd love to know your thoughts on all of this. Any feedback on the format would be really appreciated. When I spoke to the estate management company, they said that this was only a fraction of the entire estate and that they anticipate future sales. So I'm keeping my eyes out for another sale from this estate and I will be first in line. So that is to say, if you haven't already, do subscribe, new videos every Sunday, and I'll look forward to seeing you again next week. So I can edit the first section first and off. then put those in order and then go back through or whatever. Like this will reflect the final order. Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't unbutton it enough. Ah. I also look very like washed out. I feel like I need lipstick. Tiny bit of lip color on. <laughs> It'll match my shoes. There we go, yes. Matches my shoes, which is important. Also matches my zits. Because my skin is breaking out. <laughs> and do a try on of the incredible collection from, from, I don't know what the situation was, but of course in, in, uh, situation, 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 it's like more situation than the Jersey shore. Is that joke like horribly dated? <laughs> Too late for Jersey shore jokes? Too soon? Too soon? The only thing is this. The only thing is that the, the only thing is that the, come on, maybe I shouldn't film today. This is just, it's not quite going right. <laughs> Having Christmas music stuck in your head in February. Why? <laughs> mm, let's do like a full tuck. Not a French tuck. American tuck. American tuck. Take that tan. Shoulder pads. Wow, the, t the tie is a little obnoxious. Oh, oh it's turning. No. I think I ran out of hangers. <laughs> okay, let me just start over that. I just don't like my, I don't like my tood. Do it without the tood. And the person who collected this amazing collection. <laughs> well, at least my blooper reel will be good. <laughs>